Hello everyone and welcome back. If you are an Australian at the moment, you would know that so many of our cities are in lockdown. We're going in and out of lockdown all over the place. And it's just our way of life at the moment. But since I've been at home a lot, I have a lot of time to do lots of hauls and picking out different products. This video is stuff that I've been sent. So I haven't purchased these things, but these companies have been kind enough to reach out to me and send me some goods. And I would love to show you guys them because they're all products that I genuinely really enjoy. If brands had sent me stuff and I didn't genuinely use it, I wouldn't work with them in the first place. There would be no point me showing you them because I wouldn't be excited about it. And I wanna be excited about it. And I love making these types of videos. And I've always wanted to make a mail day like slash unboxing of just like a bunch of stuff that I have. A long time ago, I would make little YouTube videos of just like eBay and AliExpress hauls. That was my fate. I put all of those on private because they were awful, but those are videos that I love watching haul videos and I love watching like unboxing videos and stuff like that. I buy a whole lot of stuff as well that I could do like mail days of just like compiling everything in one to show you. If you'd be interested, let me know because I would love to do that. I would love to show you all the things that I like personally will go out and buy. So all the products I'm showing you today, I have got to select them myself as well. I got all of this stuff like literally all at once. And I thought what better way to do it than to just compile everything in one and do like an unboxing, unpackaging of everything. So I'll get started with one of the things that I reopened. I'm very sorry, but <laughs> I wanted to use the makeup really bad. So I got sent these She Glam palettes. I also got sent a mascara and also some lashes as well. The lashes are beautiful. I love them. I actually wore these ones in this photo. I wasn't that big of a fan of the mascara, but the palettes are actually really cool. I'll show you some of the colors. We've got some glitters and some pastels. We've got some like earthy tones, greens, like jungly colors. It's really cool. They've like stuck to themes. This is like blue and black. I love this. And also blues and greens. So all the palettes are actually animal themed. So we've got a little fishy. We got a little birdie. We got a little leopard. We got a fox and a butterfly. So all of these palettes, as you can see, have little animal boys on there. And that is because the like whole collection is inspired by the world's most majestic animals. And a part of this collection is that She Glam is donating $50,000 to the IFAW, which are a global company that work in rescuing and protecting animals. And we love that. You can actually buy these on the Sheen app because She Glam is a brand within Sheen. So it's basically Sheen's makeup line. I did my makeup today with this palette actually. And this is also recycled packaging, so that's sick. I'm wearing some super, super pretty contacts. I've always wanted this like light color because I think it really goes with my like skin tone and my dark hair. These contacts are called Day Springs. These cool, these I fucking can't talk. Day Spring Peach is the name of these contacts. The brand is called Miraga. Um, and I guess it's the Barbie line of contacts. I also got another pair called Night Glow Navy and I'll put in a little clip of what they look like as well. So these are the Night Glow Navy ones. Um, they sort of just make your eyes look black, but not completely black. It's a little bit different. And I really love me a black contact. There's some that I put in and I don't think they look super natural, but oh my fucking God, I can't believe how natural these look. They also feel amazing. Some contacts I feel like your like, what, what do you call this? <laughs> like your peripheral, that's the damn one. Thank you guys out there for telling me. I'm sure there were some of you going, peripheral vision. My peripheral vision in some contacts is like shit. I understand it's because like, they're obviously taking up more of your like iris, I suppose. They're a lighter contact too. Like this would be like almost as light as a blue would be as well on how dark my eyes are. The next package that I got, is this one here. They are called T-I-J-N and oh my God, I'm so excited for these because they are blue light filter glasses, which I'm over the moon about because currently I use some shitty ones off like AliExpress. I'm sure these are gonna step it up because these are super high quality. Let's have a look. So it looks like we have cases as well. Yes, we do. Oh, nice. That's like super pretty. These are really nice actually. These aren't prescription because I, I don't have, I don't need glasses. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> I don't have glasses thing. Oh, who is she? 
Damn. I like actually love it. I'm a whole new person with these glasses and these like contacts in as well. <laughs> they feel so, they feel so good. The quality of these, they're definitely not flimsy. They're super nice. Damn, I am very happy with those. And look at the little like case. That's like the best glasses case I've seen anyone have. Like it's super sleek and pretty and super little. So you haven't got a big bulky, ugly one. Oh, let's pop these on. Oh my God. These, what do you think? I think this is definitely my style. I wanted sort of like the cat eye. Life is art, what is this? Oh, <laughs> this is the little wiper. Life is art, apparently. So definitely check their Instagram out. They also were kind enough to throw in another, another pair. But yeah, they threw in another pair to say thank you, I suppose. Thank you, we use minimalist and eco-friendly packaging for the good of our planet. Oh, I can even tell the difference like against my like lights. These ones. So I didn't select these ones, but they've sent them to me. Um, what do we think? They're cute too. Yeah. Cool. They're sick. So thank you guys so much for sending me those. I really, really thoroughly enjoy them. It's definitely a huge, huge improvement. They feel comfortable. They feel smooth. They look stylish. They also do sunglasses and I guess normal glasses as well for like just reading sight glasses. I don't know what you call them actually. As weird as that sounds like just glasses full stop, I suppose. And now we also have another Beautiful item. This is from Eta Love, Eta Love, however you say it. They are a jewelry company, um, so they have things like rings and necklaces and earrings. I focused on rings because I myself love me some beautiful rings, and they just so happen to be very goth Wiccan inspired. Let's have a looky. Oh, it's so sick. So the first ring that I got is a rose, and it is a rose with thorns. So cute. Next one we have is a moon. It's got like calligraphy around the sides. I'm thinking this one's more of like a thumb ring. <sighs> this one is, I think this one's my favorite. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a heart with thorns and the thorns go like the whole way around. These are super nice quality rings. Sometimes I have trouble getting my ring sizing because I've fucked. Fingers. Rings always fit me on my ring finger and people are like, you're not allowed to wear it there, you're not married. I'm like, I can do whatever the damn hell I want. It irks me so much because I'm like, it's not my goddamn fault that fucking rings were made perfectly to fit on one particular finger. I did not create marriage. So fucking what if I wear it on that finger? It's called a ring finger. It was clearly designed by the big guy and he went, I think rings will fit on this finger and no other finger. When the big bloke made me, that's apparently what. What he was thinking, like you will have one finger that fits a ring and no other finger will fit it because your knuckles are fucking insanely huge. Oh my God, and I remember, uh, and I'll quickly tell a story as well. I remember one time when I was younger and um, like I'd saved up money to buy this ring. I bought this ring from some store that it was like, you know, it wasn't like a fucking wedding ring, but it was like a nice quality ring. I'd saved up when like I had my first job so that I could buy this ring. Cause I was like, oh my God, like I really want to wear rings. I love them. And I saved up to buy it. I bought it and I was wearing it like literally just minding my fucking own business. And I went to like my friend's house who's like, had one of those mums who would just like hover and like wanted to be cool and like in with like, I don't know, hanging out with you. And we're like, can you fuck off? Like, we don't want you around. We want to talk about stuff that you're not allowed to hear. Can you not be there? Like all well and good to people who like were close with their mums growing up and stuff. Like, that's great. I love it. But like, your mum should have the boundary to go like, they're hanging out as friends together. Let's just leave them alone. But anyway, this mum was just always hovering and I hated her from the minute I met her because she was always like <laughs> one of those mums. I don't know if mums are like, I don't think mums are like this. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But she was one of those mums who like had to one up you. I'm a child at this point. Why is it fully grown adult? Like fucking in her forties trying to one-up me when I am like a 14 year old. 
<laughs> I don't understand it. Actually, I would have been like 13 when this happened. So like, I'm just in high school and this mum comes at me, big gatekeeper mum, owner of every jewelry store in the world apparently. And she looks at my ring. I like, we weren't even talking about my ring. I was just sitting there eating breakfast, I'm pretty sure. She was like, that isn't even a real diamond. And I was like, fuck you dog. Like, <laughs> what does a 13 year old say? Other than fuck you dog. I didn't say fuck you dog, but I wanted to say it. But I was just like, Are you good? Did your friends bully you about like your rings growing up and now you're trying to do it to me? Cause I'm, I'm not phased in the slightest. I know I make very little money. So, um, soz it's not a diamond, but I don't care. The kids at school don't know it's not a diamond. No one else cares that it's not a diamond. Do you think that other kids at school are sitting there going, well, that's not a diamond? No, they're going, this is her aesthetic. She likes to wear rings now. Cause that's all I was thinking. I was just like, rings are my new thing. I'm gonna start wearing rings. I don't know where I was going with that, except for that was when I first started to like rings was when some 40 year old woman told a 13 year old that they didn't have a real diamond on their finger. Um, and yeah, she just reminds, oh, that's right. Yes, that is why I went into that story because she, the 40 year old gatekeeping diamond woman, diamond grower, diamond farmer, diamond fucking in the caves, like chiseling out diamonds. She must've done that for a job in order to have such, such a high status that she needed to inform me that, oh dear me, your ring is not a diamond. 13 year old, hurry. Let's go to the diamond harvesting caves and harvest you a diamond. That must be the only reason. Only her kind would be the exact kind. She like reminds me of the people who would be the people who tell you that you can't wear a ring on your ring finger if you're not married. That is the moral of this story. Don't listen to diamond farmers who aren't actual diamond farmers. But mm, 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 these rings are biards. I love them. And Etta Love are giving you 20% off, which is huge. So if you want codes for any of these, I will put them in the description below. Enjoy, I fucking sure am enjoying these things. Let me know if you would like more like little unboxing videos because damn, this was a very fun thing to do. I really liked doing it. Thank you very much. Bye.